Namaste. My name is Illy B and welcome to Daily Vibes with a Collect Hive. Today is October 8th and I'm sending whoever's birthday it is out there a happy special birthday, happy trip around the sun, sending you lots of love and blessings your way. I know I didn't post a video yesterday as Mondays are my rest days, um, but I will try to figure out a way to generate videos while resting. I might just have to record the day before. I feel like we already had this conversation, but it is what it is. Um, you can follow me on social media. Even if I don't post a video, I still post the um, messages on those platforms on Twitter and Instagram. So if you want to go ahead and follow me there, you can. So, but I know it's different because we do the meditation, you get the ambiance of everything as well. So, I like the whole switch up thing, you know, reading before meditating, that way we can let it all marinate before, um, before everything. So we're going to go ahead and start off with this, shall we? December 8th, teachers, if you can't be a good example, then you have to be a horrible warning by Catherine Oud. Some of our best teachers are those who have a horrible warning for us. All too often, these people have not been easy for us to be around or have caused pain for us. I recently was in a situation in which a group of people behaved not only inappropriately for the situation, it was a funeral, but also rudely. Since I had a leadership responsibility, my first impulse after I recovered from being stunned was to jump up and stop them uh, from upsetting the family. Then I realized that would cause an even bigger scene, would it be more of a problem for anybody. When the bereaved family looked at me for guidance, I motioned for them to just let it pass, which it did quickly and then proceed as planned. In that situation, that group of people was a horrible warning for me. I didn't want, did not want to become like them. They were teachers, important teachers. We never know when and how our teachers will appear. Let's just hope we are ready for them. Yes, awesome. So, you know, sometimes we wish our teachers are just like this wonderful, amazing, like guidance, right? Those soulmates, but sometimes we do need those. And notice how she kind of like, she wanted to react and vibrate at their level and then realize if she did it would cause an even bigger scene so she maintained her vibration without um, compromising or making the situation even worse but just knowing that um, those situations can be teachers those any situations like that any people situations so on and so forth all right offer love to generate love in the world Deciding to offer love to one another is not about immediate reciprocation. The point is, by offering love, you are generating more love in the world and thereby generating more love in your life. Everyone benefits. It is true that if you offer loving behavior towards others, you are more likely to receive love. But if, you, if the love you offer is not reciprocated, you have shown yourself that you possess so much love that there that you are able to offer it freely. Uh, love offered is never wasted. A surplus of love in the world can only be positive. So offer love, generate love, be loving. You are nothing to lose and everything to gain. Beautiful. So kind of like, yeah, like being in this situation, she kind of stayed in this vibration of like allowing it to happen and then it will just stop as well. So let's talk about like, this is, um, something I've been like talking about as well so kind of like a domino effect right if one person's having a bad day and they kind of just like go about their day and like ch cause this like chain reaction of like this person having a bad day so he did like he was talking to his barista like poorly and then that barista like you know let that cause a catastrophic events in her workplace and so on and so forth so let's take that same vibration and essence when it comes to giving love right showing love um right 
by doing that chain reaction as well. Some people will either take that love and take that energy and continue it, but some people might question it. Some people might be so like triggered by that love because they can't access it themselves. When we stay in a vibration of love, it is a vibration where you have to reach to. But when you dim, like when you are in a vibration of like um, hey and all that stuff, it's easier to slip into that energy. Where when you have to work for love, you have to kind of like release that baggage. So for some people, it is hard to maintain that loving vibration, and for some people, it's easy. So we have to kind of just continue to show love regardless of the teachers that show up. And maybe we'll be a teacher for them as well by continuously show them love. So I'm hopeful that made sense in any way. So, all right, let's see, book passage. How will you make your mark? Think of all the great girls who come before you. What motivates them? What made them shine? You're one of those great girls slash people slash boys slash adults <laughs> you are following in their footsteps lighting the way for others who will become after you you are an amazing person with grace and talent and wit and understanding what you do now will influence generations of people to come so what will you do how will you make your mark Right? How will you make your mark? How will you put your imprint? How would you plant your vibration out into the world where people can remember you and people would want to be like, wow, I want to be like so-and-so. Super beautiful. Um, so yeah, we're going to go ahead and start this meditation. Ooh, honestly, if this was like a poncho... Sorry about that there was an advertisement as I started the meditation so anyways yes this poncho I love this poncho <laughs> so in a seated position sitting up straight and shoulders pulled back chin slightly tucked in and palms facing up to receive Taking a big deep breath in and out. Breathing in and out. One more time, breathing in and out. Take a moment and think about your day. If there were any teachers that kind of triggered you in any way, and think about that situation at this moment. Did they hold a vibration of a learning experience? Release it, let it go from your system, and know the lessons that it held. Breathe in and out. Yes, release. Breathing in and out. And imagine golden white light straight from the heavens, straight from source of unconditional love and abundance. Flow into your space now, bridging it from the heavens into your heart as this bridge is always there for you. And breathing into your heart now. Breathe out love and into that situation, that person, or that lesson. 
breathe in again and breathe that love out into the world to whoever needs it and breathe this love in for yourself and out releasing it as we now thank those lessons and we thank all for teaching us and think about how we can make our love and our mark out there and how to continue to stay in the vibration of love whenever those situations arrive Breathe in and out, rooting yourself into the earth to stay grounded throughout the rest of our days and continuously to breathe in and out, coming back into your space and your body back into your heart center where you will continue to go throughout the rest of your day. Opening your eyes and welcome back. Ooh, super interesting that I kept wanting to sneeze as we were like trying to release. So yeah, letting things, at first I didn't want to like interrupt the meditation because like, yeah but it was necessary so yeah i had to let go <laughs> so we're gonna see what the card of the day is card of the day card of the day here it is the card of the day spiritual alignment puts my manifestation in motion awesome so yeah just continuously to like ask your spirit like again like learning the lessons when it the things come up like what can it teach you as well and you know as you learn a lesson that's how your manifestations can move forward you're removing those blockages as well so really beautiful already sending you lots of love and bountiful blessings um and yeah please like share comment subscribe if you like my videos and yeah check out the description below to follow me on social media sending you lots of love Kisses, joy, happiness, bliss, and namaste, and have a beautiful, magical, wonderful day.